What I'm going to discuss in this video is what happens when you have a web form come into Podio and now you want to take that information and move it to your CRM app. Well, we can use that uh, with Globiflow, which is a Podio automation tool. So we're going to discuss that here. If you want to see the full web form uh, video, which includes this and three other parts, please uh, click the, the link in the description below. All right, so you've built a web form, and you've maybe got some advanced features in it, like some status, internal status fields, maybe even the workflow uh, via Podio that enables you to assign a task when an item is created. But what happens when you're finally done with that information on the contact form, and especially if you're using it in a CRM environment, how do you move that information into your CRM? Traditionally within Podio, you'd have to copy and paste uh, make a new item in the CRM and hope you get all the information correct. Well, using Globiflow, which is an automation tool with Podio or for Podio, um, you can move that stuff all in automatically. So that's what we're going to show you right now is how to do that. So um, Globiflow.com, you can sign up for account. There's a free 30-day trial, and after that, it's very affordable. The base plan is $9.99 and really covers a lot of uh, what you need to do in a CRM environment. So. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the app that we specifically created for contact form, um, which here it is in Podio, and then uh, here it is uh, within Globiflow, and we're going to do a new flow. Um, and we want this flow to happen specifically when the status is changed. So let's look at the status here. So the status um, I have is either in progress or qualified. So what I want to say is when it is marked as qualified, take all this information and push it um, into Globiflow. I'm sorry, into the CRM app. So what I'm going to do within Globiflow is I'm going to say when an item is updated, I'm going to name this move contact form to um, CRM app. I want to add a filter. So here's the important thing. Whenever you're doing a Globiflow based upon um, a status, you always want it to do uh, when the field is changed. And the reason for that is Globiflow is constantly checking um, items within this app, so the contact form for things that change. So if I make a comment, that's a change. So if I just had the filter of field value match um, complete, um, then every single time I made a change on that item, it would make a new um, item in the other app. So you always want to make sure you have if field is, um, status has changed, and if that status has changed to be qualified, then do an action. And the action I'm going to do is create an item. So I'm going to do create that item and I'm going to make it um, in my CRM which is right here and I'm going to add field. So here's the cool thing about Globiflow is that I can then bring over any information. So the name um, I'm going to have contact form first name and then I'm going to have their last name category, we'll call them a lead, because um, I need to qualify them again to make them a prospect, date created, it's current date and time, their phone, it's going to be phone number, email, it's going to be email address, description. So here's where I can get kind of created. So the description I'm going to say, um, lead came from our website contact form these are the details they submitted so then I'm going to put in the field of all the notes or the how can we help you next I'm going to say these are all the comments from the web form neat little feature about Globiflow you can actually attach all the comments from another item into the text field. So you always have the information in one place, reduces the amount of clicks you have to do to get that information. So let's save that and I'm going to show you what that looks like. Right, let's go to Podio. And so I already have some notes over here, so let's go ahead and qualify it. Alright, so now let's go look at my CRM app. So here it is. So it brought in that name, first and last, marked as a lead, put the date created and time, phone number, email, 
brought in the description. So lead came from website. Here are the details they submitted, which was testing number two. And then here are all the comments from that previous item. So this is a valid concern. Please take care of it. Um, and now it's in my CRM app, and now I can start um, moving it through my CRM pipeline that I've qualified it from the web form. All right, I hope you enjoyed uh, learning a bit more about Globi Flow and uh, moving web form items to your CRM app. As always, we love your feedback, so if you have anything good or bad to say about this video, please go to feedback.focalogical.com. You'll see the link on your screen. Um, we also do free 30-minute consultations. Uh, we love hearing about how you use Podio, how you want to use Podio, um, and just kind of filling your mind with some of our knowledge and suggestions for how to grow your business using Podio. So uh, if you're interested in that, please go to consult.focalogical.com. Um, we also like to hear if you have any video suggestions for this uh, type of video tutorials on YouTube um, that you can submit at video.focalogical.com. And finally, we do pre-built Podio solutions, including automations that we sell for a fixed fee price. Uh, if that sounds intriguing to you, check those out at podiosolution.focalogical.com. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you want more videos, and we'll be talking to you soon.